Hey guys, what's up? This is Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time again with the Quadrocopter Special. It's all about my new baby, the DJI Phantom 2. And today I won't, I won't, I am a Chinese man. Uh, today I want to uh, answer the five, five most asked questions. So the FAQ that I'm able to answer. So the first question um, is a question that is for all of those that uh, don't own a Phantom yet. So the first question is what Phantom shall I get? Shall I get the Phantom 1 or the Phantom 2? And if I get the Phantom 2, what Phantom 2? The Phantom 2, the Phantom 2 Vision, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. So uh, let's break this down. Um, I would always recommend getting the Phantom 2 because it has a battery that's way better. Yeah, with the Phantom 2 you can stay up in the air for up to 25 minutes uh, without a camera attached to it. And with the camera attached to it, you can stay up for uh, 15 minutes and something. I would check that out. I put a link up there. Um, the, with the old Phantom 1, you can only stay up for 10 minutes or something like that. So that's pretty nasty. Um, the Phantom 2, there are different versions of the Phantom 2. Um, I'm going to describe that to you in a special uh, tutorial because they're really uh, differences and I, I, I only want to make a short tutorial about the five FAQs so if you want, want to know what Phantom 2 to get click here okay next question can I use batteries for the Phantom that are not made by DJI so uh, let me answer that question with yes and no because on the old Phantom 1 there are some batteries you can use that are not made by DJI so you can go for it but as I mentioned in the question before, uh, the, ba the battery of the DJI Phantom 1 is pretty weak. So how about the uh, Phantom 2 battery? The Phantom 2 battery, wait, I'm going to show it to you. <clears throat> Has this freaky battery. I hope you can see it. And um, this battery is a pretty tough thing. As I said, you can stay up in the air for up to 25 minutes uh, when flying without a gimbal and 15 minutes when flying with a gimbal and uh, it's a pretty strong battery and to answer the second question no you cannot use uh, other batteries that are not made by DJI for the Phantom 2 you got to stay with the original and I can show that to you wait I'm just gonna come a little closer <clears throat> oh, my poor voice can you see it can you see these details here um, so that's the connection to either the charger or the inside of uh, the Phantom. And that's quite the same with any battery you could get on the market, even those who are not made by uh, DJI. But these two little golden pins, can you see them? These two golden pins, they uh, kind of transfer information to the quadrocopter and uh, saying, oh, I'm the original battery, only use me. So, and all the fake batteries don't have these two uh, golden dots. So, again, to answer the question, no, we poor people gotta buy the original battery for the Phantom 2. Next question. Ah, uh, isn't that a cool thing? Hundred dollar notes. <laughs> no, um, the next question. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, next question. How do I turn on the IOC, the Intelligent Orientation Control Mode, on the Phantom? So to turn on the IOC, it's not enough to take the radio control and uh, simply go into the CL course lock or HL home lock mode. So that won't work. You gotta do that on the computer. So with your Phantom, there comes a small USB cable that you can plug in here right in the front of your Phantom. It goes in there and then right into your computer and then you've got to download from DJI's website uh, the software called NASA M or NASAM however you want to say that and there you got to click on advanced and then you see uh, IOC 
popping up. And in IOC, you simply click enable or disable, and then you can use the IOC mode. Uh, I had the problem that when I clicked advanced, nothing popped up, there was no IOC uh, that I could enable or disable. But there's a little tricky thing up to the, at the right hand side, uh, you, gotta, you gotta click the phantom button and then there pops up a warning, do you really wanna switch into the NASAM mode? Do you wanna do that? You wanna take the risk? Caution, stay still, don't move, freeze. And I said, oh yes, I wanna go for it. And then you go for it and there you will find the IOC function when you click advanced again. Okay, that was uh, the third question, I think, and now let's switch to the next one. So you guys are thinking of getting an FPV system for your Phantom and GoPro combination. That is very smart of you, I thought the same, and mine is going to arrive within, I hope, the next two weeks. Um, these FPV systems cost about, I mean, they start from $300 and go up to $2,000 for the usual ones. I got one that cost me uh, like 450 euros, which is pff, whatever in dollar, I'm going to put the information right here. Um, actually, you can, you can mount them onto the Phantom yourself. You've got to unscrew these screws and then you can take, uh, uh, take up this, this upper side, the plastic, and then you can simply build it in there and I will show that to you in another tutorial or you can let professionals do that for you. So that's not a problem. Um, and uh, I'm going to put uh, a link down there in the description where you can find different FPV sets that you can use because I'm not going to say all the names and the numbers and the article names and whatever because I think that's not worth the time. So, but there's one more thing you gotta pay attention to. Don't turn on your GoPro's Wi-Fi mode because that could interrupt the signal going from your radio control inside the Phantom and that could uh, cause you a loss, a damage. Hmm? We don't want that to happen. So, next question. Do you see these glares, these stripes in the picture? Yeah, that looks terrible. And that is not the jello effect as it was called at the Phantom 1. And that was something different. The jello effect is caused by the motion from the Phantom 1 without a gimbal. And now with the gimbal, why is that strange effect happening? That's actually very easy. It's only light streaks that are coming in from the sun right into your lens. And uh, as you can see, it's a very small lens and uh, it's super wide angle lens. So if you're flying towards the sun, the light simply enters here and uh, the shadows of these sweet ladies up here, they cause this terrible effect on the lens. So how can we deal with that? How can we uh, avoid these terrible light streaks from getting into our camera? That's actually super easy. I'm just going to get my notes. You simply gotta take some paper. I mean, if it's perfect, you take some black paper then you cut off a little edge. Yeah, of course you do that a little better than I'm doing it right now um, with scissor and stuff like that. And then you simply tape it, you tape it up there and, <laughs> okay, that doesn't look very professional now, but that's how you do it. You simply take black paper and put it up there and uh, that will completely avoid all the light streaks uh, that destroy your picture. So that is very smart. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. And now there are tons of other tutorials of mine that you can watch. And there are some fun ones and there are some informational ones. There are some good ones. There are some terrible ones. Choose yours and we'll meet again soon. Uh, this was Tom from TDT, Tom's Tech Time. Have a great freaking day.